T minus one minute. In just a few seconds from now, that first umbilical tower will retract from the side of the vehicle. First umbilical has retracted. T minus 25 seconds and counting, waiting for the second umbilical to retract to begin auto sequence start. There is the second umbilical has retracted, launch sequence initiated. We have engine start. Engines coming up to full throttle. The launch command initiated and liftoff. Liftoff of the 84th Progress Resupply Ship to the International Space Station. All first stage engines uh, reported uh, operating normally. The booster arcing out to the northeast beginning its fast-track two-orbit journey to reach the orbital outpost. 35 seconds into the flight, all engine performance reported normal. Roll program has been completed. The vehicle reported to be in stable shape. We'll be coming up on the period of maximum dynamic pressure on the Soyuz booster just a few seconds from now. One minute, eight seconds into the flight. Flight is reported to be nominal by the blockhouse in Baikonur. All parameters, yaw, pitch and roll, all reported to be nominal. One minute, 40 seconds into the flight. Coming up on the two minute mark into the flight. We'll be standing by for first stage shutdown and booster separation. First stage separation confirmed. Vehicle reported to be in stable shape, good shape, second stage engine up and running. Two minutes, 30 seconds into the flight. About six and a half minutes of powered flight remaining. Second stage engine performing normal, according to the blockhouse in Baikonur. Coming up on the three minute mark into the flight, all parameters reported to be nominal. All structural parameters reported to be nominal. Three minutes, 15 seconds into the flight. Five and a half minutes of powered flight remaining. And we have fairing jettison on time. The uh, Soyuz booster traveling just over 5,200 miles per hour. Altitude 49 miles, downrange distance 72 miles from the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Flight reported to be nominal, almost four minutes in. 
Good reports from the blockhouse in Baikonur. This view now from a camera on the third stage of the Soyuz booster. Four minutes, 15 seconds into the flight. Four and a half minutes of powered flight remaining. We're coming up on uh, second stage engine shutdown and separation. And second stage shutdown is confirmed. That view of the aft skirt being uh, jettisoned. Five minutes, 15 seconds into the flight, everything reported to be nominal. Five minutes, 35 seconds into the flight, just over three minutes of powered flight remaining. Launch occurring on time at 7.56 and 7 seconds a.m. Central Time, which was 5.56 p.m. at the launch site in Baikonur. Passing six minutes into the flight. Engine performance nominal, structural parameters all in line, good reports from the blockhouse in Baikonur. At the time of a third stage shutdown and spacecraft separation, the flight control team at the Russian Mission Control Center outside of Moscow will take over control of the Progress's journey to the International Space Station. Six minutes, 52 seconds into the flight. Just under two minutes of powered flight remaining. Yaw, pitch and roll reported to be nominal. Good stability, good parameters on the Soyuz booster. Third stage engine performance is nominal, seven minutes, 30 seconds into the flight. Just a little over one minute of powered flight remaining. Everything remains in good shape. Good reports from the blockhouse in Baikonur. Eight minutes into the flight. So far so good, everything by the book. Less than a minute of powered flight remaining. Coming up on the eight and a half minute mark into the flight. Again, uh, all engine parameters and structural parameters are normal. We are standing by for third stage shutdown and spacecraft separation. Third stage shutdown confirmed and Third stage separation. 
Now the command will be issued uh, for the progress to unfurl its solar arrays and navigational antennas. And the solar arrays and the navigational antennas have all deployed normally. So the progress is now in its preliminary orbit after a flawless ascent and uh, climb to orbit after its launch from the Baikonur Cosmodrome. 